What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and today once again we are criminal, we're in the um, Bestia GTS, uh, I do, I really like this car, uh, not 100% legal, it's got very dark window tint, again not illegal, and um, a San Andreas exempt plate you can see there, it's kind of hard to make out but we have an exempt plate which means that this plate is illegal. So, yeah, we're going to get into some trouble, but I don't want to get into a little bit of trouble. I want to get into a lot of trouble. So, I'm going to sign into the CAD because I've got a really cool idea. Okay, so this vehicle is Jack Carlton's. You can see there, Jack Carlton, that's our number plate. Grotty Bestia, it meant to be a GTS, but you know. And if we go up to Jack Carlton, I'm just going to quickly edit this. Um, I'm going to make his date of birth. Um, 1965 um, 11 4 I don't know something like that that'll do and he is going to be a white male he's going to have no hair a average bit uh, let's go for overweight uh, weapon status obtained deceased no I'm going to save that but here's the thing. This I'm my car eh, English. My character right now is Jerry Berry. So we have stolen this car and our date of birth is going to be uh, we look about thirty, I'd say. So I'm gonna go nineteen ninety one um oh three oh nine maybe that'll do. Um and that's all fine keep that and now we're gonna go down to our car which is this one okay so here's what we got this is our car it's registered to Jack Carlton who we are not playing and the notes on this vehicle stolen from RO um, recorded owner at Los Santos Airport on the 11th for the 5th 2018 which is today for me when I'm recording firearm reported to be involved owner beaten into coma Perfect. Um, Jerry Berry has a pistol and an assault rifle. I'm going to delete the assault rifle. He really doesn't need an assault rifle. Weapons wise, I've got on me a shotgun and a pistol. Um, I'm going to go put the shotgun in my house. There's a lot of setup to this scenario, fair play. So I'm going to put a shotgun in my house. I'm going to go out and drive a little bit wrecked, but enough to attract attention, but not enough to. Um, get finally stopped as it is and we're gonna see how they react and I'm gonna guess it's gonna be bad okay so I'm just gonna go in here deposit object um, where is my shotgun there it is oh I assume I did it uh, did I do it no not clothing god damn it um, yes I did pump shotgun and my weed is in there because I really don't want Elio finding my weed on me or my shotgun because that's just an extra crime and they will take my shotgun and I kind of want it I paid a lot of money for that right let's go find some cops let's drive like an asshole so remember we're only getting pulled over fuck off AI we're only getting pulled over for a minor traffic stop ooh there's some people in here that was unexpected I was just curious as to what they're doing. <laughs> oh, they're doing some random shit. Oh well, I'm not gonna get involved. I got my own shit to do. Oop, that's a cop. And he has his takedowns done. What are you doing, buddy? Speeding with your takedowns on. I'm gonna fuck with that cop just for that, because you shouldn't be doing that. Unless he's responding to an emergency, but then he should have his lights on. Okay. Yep, he was coming. Whoa! You are reckless as fuck. Fucking, I'm going to wind my windows down. I'm going to moan at him. Be before he does anything, I'm going to moan at him. Because that was just reckless as fuck. Uh-oh, here comes a secondary. What was that about, man? You are reckless as fuck. Driving on. I had to swing around on you. Easy, easy, easy. I swung around on you, and you're trying to drive over the double yellow to pass. What's up with that? 
I was coming to get you to tell you that those big bright lights on the front of your car are on. I couldn't see where I was going, and then you nearly sw turned into I'm me. We're, we're on the look for an individual in the area that has committed a crime. And so when I see you driving like that, that's why I wanted to stop and talk to you to make sure you're not the individual. We're looking for someone, okay? Well, you don't think it's dangerous driving with those bright-ass lights on your car? I could barely see where I was going. I do think it's dangerous. I also think it's dangerous to have a criminal on the loose right now, and I need to find that individual, all right? Well, good luck with that. Take it easy. Will do. Take it easy. I'll let you out of here, because I know we're both driving around here. You know, I I'm at fault, too. I'm looking around. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it go, alright? Okay. Appreciate your concerns. Have a great day, sir. Who are you looking for? I'll see if I can keep an eye out. It's a, it's a van. Almost looks like a, like a small delivery van. That has a picture of like um, an ocean wave on the side. Yeah, There's I know where that is. On the left hand side. He's you at know the Yellow Jack. Him and, Thank you very much, him and his buddies are there. Okay. Alright, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Well, we just helped the cops. Now I'm going to be a nosy citizen and see what's happening. You didn't run my plate, so... I mean... Pff, not my issue that he just missed out on the biggest arrest of the day. I'm just going to park up over by here and see if he's still here. Yep, yeah, there it is. Going to turn my engine off. I want to see this. There he is. There's the van they're after, over there. And here comes his buddy. <laughs> uh, we actually helped out the police today. Meanwhile, they just missed out on a humongous arrest. A guy wanted for carjacking and assault and battery. They are both absolutely drunk as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of that? We pull into a car park just to see what's going on. Then we get pulled over and the dude's like, we're looking for this person. It's like, oh, you mean the guys I literally just spoke to? Meanwhile, he's not doing his job properly and r misses out running my name on my plate or pretty much anything. Well, they separated the two individuals. That's certainly a good sign. But most of my focus is actually on that billboard. That's actually great. Who was that running then? Someone running over there. Oh well. Yeah, look at that billboard. Stop paying your mortgage. The bank's failed you. Time to fail them. Learn how. Stop paying your mortgage com. I would love to visit that site just to see what's on there. Well, I know what I'm doing afterwards. Is that another... No, that's not a cop. This camera is actually really good for airplay. Like, you can zoom in quite far and still make out the detail. Anyway, I've had enough of um, eavesdropping, so I'm going to get back in my car. And we're going to just drive around for a bit. Dude behind me has some bright ass headlights. Fair play. Not stopping. I'm trying to get tickets. I'm not stopping at a stop sign. Ooh, that didn't happen. Just ignore that. That's fine. Uh, I need to go to the bank. i got like 50 grand in my pocket. Fair play. These welfare checks, they pay well. Wish I, have, I wish I was on that much money. Just 1500 bucks every 10 minutes. Evening. Was that a local or a... No, that can't be a local. Deposit. Uh, let's go 45. That's 54,000. going on tonight? Hey, man. Why are, the, um, why are the police after you? Oh, they're not after me. No, I was just, I was supposed to be on duty tonight, you know. You know, I didn't quite make it into my, uh, the Blaine County to my sheriff's office. But, um, but these police, they, they pulled back in here. I guess that woman that I was having a couple of drinks with, I guess they were looking for her. So, you know, I, I left my car over there in the parking lot. You know, obviously I can't drive. I've had too much tequila. That's fine. So, uh, they told me I better get the hell out of here before something goes down. So they told me to leave and call an Uber. Where are you going? So, uh, if you could take me over to, um, I guess if you could take me into the Sandy by the medical station there, so I can go down to the garage and, you know, maybe walk this off on the beach or something maybe later. Yeah, man, maybe hop get in. On duty maybe later. So you're definitely not on duty, right? Definitely not on duty. No, you're safe. 
Das war ihn dann. I was, I was, I was supposed to be on duty, but I ended up going for some cheers, so not a, so I, I had a couple cheers and and then now too many cheers and I can't come on duty. I had to call in sick to do. Ah, and now you're getting dropped off, dropped off at the station. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just gonna go sit and I'm gonna go sit in the bench out front. Maybe I'll just chill out, cool off, and then. Uh, Obviously, you can't drive, but uh, I appreciate the ride. You want anything for it, man? I'll give you something for it. Nah, that's fine, man. Just uh, sober up, yeah? <laughs> All right, well, I really appreciate it. All right, have a nice day, man. All right, thanks for the ride. And I'm off again. I love the way I'm in, like, a car with an SA exempt plate, massively over tinted windows, and I'm wanted for armed carjacking. And assault and battery, and I'm just like helping the police out, giving them lifts. Nobody has questioned this car. It makes no sense. Uh oh, this cop's coming to talk to us. Um. Okay. Um. Don't mind Thank you me. For your help, sir. No problem. What's that? I was just saying, don't mind me. I'm just I'm being sorry, nosy. Yeah. No, no, you're all right. I'm sorry I was so quick and curt with you before. I was just, we didn't really know what this person is. We're kind of spread thin today, so we're all a little edgy today. That's fine. What did he do? <laughs> there was um, allegations of harassment. Uh, she mentioned something about stabbing and prostitution over at the tow station over there. So we were just looking for her. And didn't really turn out to be what it was, but it was interesting uh, okay. conversation that we had with her. Yeah. Yeah, sounds All like right. it. Thanks a lot, bud. No worries. Stay safe. You too, officer. <laughs> uh, just, I still can't get over that. We're just helping the police while we're stupidly wanted for some really bad shit. It makes no sense. <laughs> Wow, a real criminal wouldn't do this. Why am I doing this? I enjoy doing this, that's why, but still. I thought he was going to say something about my driving. Oh well. That was a spin out. Oh well, I've decided I want to change the colour of my um, underglow. Not like in the white. Um, I want neons. Um, let's go red. I think red looks nice. And then we're going to fix our car. Okay, now we've made our car even more illegal, somehow. I'm pretty sure we're going to get fucked with now. I, I'm amazed it's taken this long. Like, I couldn't be more blatant if I tried. Without anything short of ramming a police officer off the road or something stupid like that. I just, I don't understand how this is even possible. Oh wow, we're coming up right behind a cop. This is great. I'm just going to stick behind him. I didn't actually stop at that stop sign then. Oh, he's not going to do 30, is he? Come on, dude, it's a 50 zone. Damn, this is a nice interior. I didn't even realise how nice this was. That's a really nice interior. It's a really nice car. I'd love to have one of these. Uh-oh. I think that cop just clocked me at 80. That's probably not good. <laughs> yep, yeah, he's coming. Oh wow, we just took that quadder off quad quadder? Quad bike dude off his quad bike thing. Is this dude a Reno trying to pull me over? I'll take that as a yeah. Dude, I ain't scratching my Ferrari. I can tell you that much. I'm not pulling over into no grass. Ah, two of them. Yay. Uh windows, front windows down. Cause I is a good dude. Ooh, he's got a charger. This'll be interesting. Charger versus Ferrari. This will be good. The question is, will we get away? Or <laughs> will we... How many charges will we get if we don't? Or we could end up in an ambulance, either way. You okay, sir? Yeah, I'm good. Do you know why I'm stopping you today? Not really. <laughs> You're driving uh, a bit erratically back though. We've had a 911 call uh, with the car match in your description uh, with the same that wasn't me. From, an from another concerned citizen. Um, and back there near the gas station, you cut off a, a quad bike 
um, and made the abrupt left right there. And then I also clocked you on my radar coming down this road, which anything um, in the town is 30 miles an hour, and, and you were clocking about 56. Is that all? <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I thought I would have got more than that. Do you have your driver's license, proof, insurance, registration on you, sir? Got my license. Here you go. My name's Jerry Berry. J. No worries. And do you have your proof, insurance, registration, or is that at home? That's at home. <laughs> All right, sit tight, Mr. Berry. Bear with me for a second, okay, sir? We'll get it resolved and get you on your way. No worries. Yeah, they've got a shock when they run this plate. This is a nice ass car. The more I drive it, the more I like the look of it. Oh. Yep. Here it is. Here it is. Here it comes. <laughs> They're just deciding what to do now. I think they know. They're going to try and felony stop me. I think Jerry Berry is going to have a warrant. Pretty sure how that's, this is going to go. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. I think, yep. <laughs> That's how this is going to go. Bearing in mind, at this point, Mr. Jerry Berry has a record as long as my arm. He's been arrested for pretty much every crime in our penal sheet, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, this is not going to go well. Ooh. They not going to felony stop me? Hello, Mr. Barry. What's up? The registration doesn't seem to be coming back as, uh, as what it should do. I would assume this car's registered and, and insured and all that with, with how sporty and cool it looks. It's registered to my friend. It should be registered. Um. What's your friend called? Um. I can't remember. Yeah, like... It's not coming back registered at all. Uh, I'm sure there's a solution for it. Do you mind Two, stepping three, out? Well, you can keep the keys on. You just take the keys out, pop them in your pocket or something, and come step out to the back of the car for us, please, Mr. Berry. I don't see why I should. 231. QTF. Well, we're having two, a registration three, issue. We can't have an unregistered car on the road. Try running it again. It's registered. So, how come uh, we can't? How can we solve this? Because we need to talk to you. And we need to show you what's coming up on our systems on our computer though when we search the... Uh, well, you said there was nothing coming up on the system. Well, exactly. But it still comes up and tells us that there's no registered car under that information. So I don't know if you can direct us to something in there and show us what to do on the computer in terms of, in case of putting it incorrect, but uh, we're searching 81 Queen Tom Frank 231. I do zoned out. guns, knives, drugs, anything like that? No. It's something that I ask everyone on the traffic stop, just to make sure. No, I have nothing. Okay, that's good. So could you come have a look at my computer real quick, please? Can't you just write me the ticket? I'm not stepping out of well, this car. Well, if you're saying it's registered, well, we can't let an unregistered car go. Well, so if it is registered, you, can you come and solve it for us? Or help us solve it? It's your because computer. Because if it is registered and, and, it, and it's just an issue with the computer or... If it's something that you can clarify and all that sort of stuff, then we could just let you go with a warning, pretty much. It's easy to clarify. I might ticket you. Go to your computer and I type the plate you in. Speed. Then hurry up. I, I got done. places to be. Okay, this guy behind me, he's been moving and doing some dodgy shit whilst. Yep, yeah, here it is. I knew it. I knew it wasn't a problem with the registration. Nah, -uh. get back. Adios, my friends. <laughs> I, know, I See, I'm not stupid. I know there was nothing wrong with the registration other than what he was coming back as. He just wanted me to step out of the car to make it easier for him. I'm not going to go on a stupidly fast pursuit. It's going to be quite fast, I'll admit, but nothing recklessly fast. Through the motel, weaving through the car park, as you do. Uh, slow right down for this. Don't even think about ramming me. I will ram you back harder. Good luck, my friends. <laughs> They're trying. They are trying. I'm gonna go left here. And then right. And then left. And then through the car park. 
They ain't catching me. Well, they might. <laughs> I don't know. And over this person's property. Oh, landing sideways. Through the sheriff's station. <laughs> What'd you do to your car, dude? Come on, try keep up. Just casually stop at stop sign. What are you doing, man? Ram into you. You ram me, I ram you. Simple as. Oh, damn. I disabled this car, I think. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to go around here. Oh, what? <laughs> what was that? That was not legit. That was not at all legit. Did I just... No, I thought I disabled both of their cars. <laughs> yeah, good luck. And around here. And around here, through the trees. Okay. Angry local. Have fun waiting for the tow truck, homie. <laughs> Fucking ramming my car, bitch. Did that just... That disabled him. <laughs> oh, this is great. What are you doing, Sheriff? Bye. At this point, I'm just fucking with him. <laughs> yeah, you're not catching me, bud. And we lost him. Did we? I think we did. Uh, I'm going to take a right here. And then a left. I can hear him, but I can't see him. I think he's on my left. Oh, there he is, all the way back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, it's a tow truck. This charger's doing extremely well to keep up with me. I think I might have to step this up a notch. Hmm. Okay, I'm fine with that. Passing on the wrong side of the road. And I'm going to take a... No, I'm not. I was going to take that dirt road, but in real life you wouldn't do that in a Ferrari. Oh, desync. Shit. No, 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 no. No, no, get in, get in. It's working, it's working. Get out of the car. Yeah, good luck. Okay, that's a post. They could have blocked me in then if they were a little bit quicker. Shit. This is reckless as fuck. They're doing well. Fair play to them. They're doing well keeping up. Come on, guys. Let's see what you got. Motorbike. Almost killed him. Almost killed a motorbike. That would have been fun. Don't turn left. Uh, around the outside. And onto the highway. I'm going to give them a chance to try and pit me. See if they do it. If they pit me, I will give up fair and square. If not, I'm going to keep running and get more and more reckless. Come on, guys. What are you going to do? Oh, that was close. That was close. Holy shit. That was close. I'm giving them ample opportunity. I'm going to go up to Union, like the Northern Union. And if they haven't pitted me by then, then I'm just... Oh, 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 oh. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. As I said, if they pit me, I'm going to give up. Jump out of the car. Ow. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. I'm running down. In, I'm running into traffic. That's the only good way to do it. Come on, bruv. Catch me. Catch me if you can. Oh, wow. Someone just happened then. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Up, up, they shot up. me. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Wow. Well, that was interesting. Someone. I'm pretty sure someone shot me. You going in for the cuffs, Mike? Pretty sure I was shot then. Well, this is um, not expected. There's my car over there. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Hey, how did he die? How did he get hurt here? It was the car? Identifier. Oh, wow, that's legit. 100% legit. Sir, can you hear us? Uh, I'm not going to be dead. And 
responsive. I want to know if that was my phone. If I was shot. Don't think it's responsive right now, fellas. If I was shot, I'm dead. If I was just hit by the car, I'm unresponsive. That's how I'm going to do this. Yeah, they shot me. Someone shot me. Oh, I just saw the deputy get run over. Someone shot me, so I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm going to recover. Um, start... Mr. Barry? Um, Mr. Barry, wake up. Moving a little... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up. I think. Mr. Barry, stay with us, buddy. Um, what happened? Just, just focus on your breathing. Stay quiet. My legs. Like I can't feel my legs. Focus on your breathing, Mr. Barry. Everything will be all right. I can't feel them. Me start. Don't worry. Crying. It's okay. <laughs> alright, let it out. Let it out. Just focus on your breathing for us, please. Um Do you know what day it is, Mr. Barry? I I don't know. My legs. <laughs> yeah, I've totally got broken legs. My spine's fucked and I've been shot. How long before the ambulance do we got, guys? Okay, guys, they are um, they're gonna transport me to the hospital using one of their cruisers because it's um, county EMS, which means right, they're Mr. not Barry, actually you coming. Go away, please listen to me very carefully. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can and will be used against you in a court of law. It's not something that you do later rely on in court. You have the right to attorney present with you during questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you, Mr. Barry. Okay. Uh, right. Let's quickly get you in the ambulance, Mr. Barry. Okay, I'm uh, on the stretcher now, getting loaded into the ambulance. If you guys catch my drift. Right, we'll meet you down there. Why is he going this way? I would have turned around, but the. But yeah, we are. Oh, he's turning around here. This is weird, right? Being in the back. Holy shit, this feels weird. But yeah, we are badly, badly injured. My car's gonna get taken, and I'm pretty sure. I'm going to jail. I'm definitely going to jail. I'm just letting the officers know that I'm paralysed. Um, from... Impact... With... Vehicle. Yeah, alright. Um, gets... Treated... Is in a wheelchair... For life, um, has brain damage. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, I have brain damage, so I'm not saying I can't remember anything, but. I'm now going to be an innocent, just your average guy, can't remember a thing about my previous life. And let's see how they handle that. Stay the vehicle, I'm coming out this way, sir. Oh, the door just popped back open. Okay, just to throw a curveball. Has focal retrograde amnesia. <laughs> oh, let's see how they handle this one. Bear with me one moment, stay here while I lock my cruiser, it's a suspicious vehicle outside. Alright sir, the uh, arresting officer is on his way in, okay? Okay. What did I do? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I wasn't, I was second to the scene, I'm not sure what the pullover was for. But, um, he's gonna come and explain everything. I was pulled over? I don't remember that. You were pulled over. <laughs> Actually, a few blocks behind the sheriff's office. Are you sure? Yeah, uh, Deputy 119 initiated the traffic stop with 176. You were pulled over. I believe the vehicle you were driving wasn't registered to you, and then you just took off. I can't drive. Deputy, 
Uh, yep. So, subject over here is basically brain dead. He's paralyzed and he's in a wheelchair for life. Uh, I have him at the counter here and he's asking me what happened and I let him know that he got pulled over and the initiating officer is on his way to finish the booking and he has no idea that he was pulled over. Right. I don't think uh, this is this this is now is a. Uh... It's out of the uh, it's out of our hands. It's down to the judicial system now. For any case like this, um, yeah. Uh, for any case like this, I, I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. But for people who either have uh, severe disabilities or after incidents is are um, mentally vulnerable, they uh, go to a. It's not jail. I can't remember what it's called. They section them basically, if that makes sense. It's, it's it's like a mental asylum, but not a mental. I believe it's a rehabilitation center. Yes. Oh, that makes It'll sense. Be a re That's exactly what it's called. It'll be a rehabilitation center, but um, yeah, that's where the individual will stay from this point onwards, I believe. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh God. <laughs> Brenda, could you just give us a moment? Yeah. I'll yeah. be I'll be outside with you in a second. What did I do? I, I just want to watch. Um. So, Mr. Barry, can you can you hear us? Can you talk? Yeah, I can hear you. What did I do? Can you understand at least? Yeah. Two plus two is four. Yeah. Four times Finish four is sixteen. No, no. Two plus two is four. Minus. Two. Three. That's one. Quick Minus. maths. Yep, so that's good. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Everyday man's on the block. Do you smoke trees? Of that traffic stop, which uh, aroused my suspicion. Um, got your ID, it was Mr. Jerry Berry. Uh, from that point onwards, uh, it was going to be a probable cause to remove you from the vehicle and detain you for suspicion of stolen property. Um, you refused, you were combative, and you uh, took off in a pursuit. You brake checked an officer. Um, and then uh, rammed him in reverse. Uh, it carried on and for another five minutes after that. You got on the highway. Um, I proceeded to uh, conduct a uh, mobile, uh, an, an immobilization maneuver on yourself. Uh, you ran across the highway, um, was running northbound and southbound lanes. A deputy mistake, mis mistook his taser for a firearm and a shot rang off and struck yourself. That doesn't like sound like me. Uh, get him on the bus. Yeah, I've got nothing on um, me. Yep, so what's okay, going to happen from now Mr. Barry, is your... You, you got anything that's going to stick me, poke me, hurt me when I give you a search? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm scared. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. I'll, I'll go gentle. Don't go slipping those fingers anywhere. Not that I'd feel it, I'm paralyzed from the waist down. Never mind, why did I talk about that? <laughs> okay, Mr. Barry, you're clean. Okay, Mr. Barry, you will be receiving a criminal record for this, uh, but you are facing any incarceration time, as a, as a normal suspect would be at this time, okay? So, the rehabilitation center bus has just popped up outside. It'll take you down to, um, I think it's La Fuente Blanca Ranch is, uh, is where the... Oh, it's such a nice place. It is. Well, they'll uh, rehabilitate you, okay? So, Michael, Talk to Andy. Now. He'll get you some Xanax. If you... I don't even know <laughs> what Xanax is, to be honest. Hey, I've never Michael, used it. Wheel uh, Mr. Barry outside and uh, get him on that bus and uh, get him on his way. Do you understand all of that, Mr. Barry? Yeah, I'm going on the sunshine bus. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. Mr. Mr. Barry, if you can follow me out here, please. We'll get you on the bus. This is actually cool. Remember, I never Andy. knew this. Ma'am, you're hot. Nice legs. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, before you can be... Ah. Uh, oh, okay. He's gone. Your name is Jerry. I heard you holler at me, deputy, on the way out. Was there something else you needed before I took him on the bus? Your name is Jerry Barry. Yes. Jerry Berry himself has come back. Nah, it's with a J, that's where I was fucking up. Yep, that's fine, Mr. Jerry Berry. I wish you the best of luck in your future life now. Thank okay, you. Jerry, let's go. I'll get you on See that you, Jerry. 
JJ. What's going on? That's an odd car for a lady to drive. Hey, Mr. Barry, there goes your bus. Uh, best of luck and wishes to you in the future. Thank you. And I do apologize for the gunshots. As stated before. There you go, John. Goodbye. Bye bye. Wow. That was unexpected. <laughs> what is even happening? I was not expecting that to happen. So, I've in two episodes in a row, I've got away with serious crimes absolutely scot-free. One, by dying, fair enough, and now by being paralysed. Damn. So, I'm, I'm good at getting off charges, that's the moral of the story. All you have to do is die or gravely injure yourself. It's as simple as that and you will escape any charges, which is a weird thought. Okay guys, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you come back for the next episode. This was really interesting. I was not expecting that ending. My idea was not to paralyze myself or anything like that. That just happened. I just wanted to run for a bit and maybe get caught. And then a car came towards me so I thought, screw it, I'll throw myself into traffic. Um, yeah, so that happened. But as I said, that's going to be all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you come back for the next episode. I will see you then. Peace out, guys.